Hey everybody, it's Bridget, and just as promised, I'm back with my April TBR. I went through my bookshelf, and it took me literally all day to decide on what books to read. There's just way too many. I mean, as we all know in general, there's just way too many books that we all want to read all the time. More than half of my bookshelf are books that I haven't read yet, but for some reason, there are a lot that I'm in the mood for right now, so it's becoming very, very hard to pick. So, in my TBR list, I have... I have eight books. I can't guarantee that I'm gonna actually finish all of these. I'm making no promises, but these are ones that I am interested in the most, so possibly these will be the ones that I read in April, so we'll just have to see. The first book that I have here isn't really a novel or anything. I want to start toning and building some muscle and eating a lot healthier than I have been recently, so so I picked this up off of my shelf. I've had this book for like three, four years now, so it's not a new book for me. But it has been a while since I read it, and I'm hoping that when I reread it, it will give me some motivation. The Eat Clean Diet by Tosca Reno. I used to use this as a guide um, a long time ago when I actually ate healthier. And what's really cool about it is it does also have recipes in the back. And the coolest thing I liked about it was it actually has grocery lists here. And it has a visual to help you what to buy when you're trying to eat healthier. And it has some meal plans. You don't have to follow them, but it does put some in here. And the meal plans go by different things, whether there's a meal plan for if you're vegan, there's a meal plan for if you have a family, there's a meal plan if you want to do like gluten-free. So yeah, I'm really excited to start reading this again. I have recently changed up my workout routine, and this will really complement my workouts. So yeah. Very excited to read this. The very next book that I'm planning on finishing in April is one that I just started last week. I haven't really had any time to really read a whole lot of it, but that is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. And this is book two in the Infernal Devices series. And so far I'm loving it. I really am. I just haven't had any time to read it. So I am on page 97. After this weekend though, I have a lot of time for the next couple days after that. So I plan on getting this read by then. As soon as I'm done with that one, the next one on my list, of course, then is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. And this is the last and final book in the Infernal Devices series. And I cannot wait to see what happens in the end. Not by accident, actually, I knew what was on there. And I looked anyways, but I peeked on the back of the, the book sleeve and kind of saw the family tree thing that's in there. So yeah. Um, still excited to read the book though. Very, very excited to get to this one. In the same line for series that I'm in the middle of, I'm definitely going to continue in another series that you all know I've been reading recently. And that is Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead. And this is book four four in the Vampire Academy series, and as you all know, I'm kind of obsessing over this book series right now, and I would really, really like to be reading this right now. And on top of me being busy, I think that is another reason why I'm struggling to read Clockwork Prince right now, but I'm really trying to savor this book series and not read it as quickly as I have been, because I read like the first three in the last month, so yeah, I'm trying to take my time, because there's only three more books in this series, and then on to the Bloodline series as well, but still, love it, so yeah. The next couple books that I plan to read are ones that I borrowed from the library, and those are Onyx by Jennifer L. Armentrop. And this is book two in the Lux series. The first one was Obsidian, which you all know I read last month and really, really loved. So, of course, I had to pick up the next one. I keep borrowing these from the library, but I actually do want to buy this series eventually. But for now, I'll just borrow it. I really wish they would change the covers. It kind of looks like a cheesy romance novel, which it kind of is, I guess. It is a romance novel, but... I don't know. Don't like it. Still, very good book. 
And then the other book that I got from the library, but not the only book. I'm planning on doing a library book haul here very soon. But the other one that I know I'm definitely going to read this month is Level 2 by Lenore Applehans. Apple? Apple? Applehans? This one has been catching my eye for the last month or two, and for some reason I just couldn't bring myself to actually purchase the book. So I went ahead and borrowed it. I actually started this. Um, I'm on page 51. I like it so far, but not my favorite read. Obviously, since I'm in the middle of Clockwork Prince, and I also want to start the next Vampire Academy series, but it is still a really good read, and since I've been in the middle of these series, I really needed a change of storyline. So... Yeah, I picked up this one, so we'll have to see where the story goes. The last two I have here are ones that you'll be seeing in my next book haul. The last two times I've gone to the bookstore, I have been in this buying adult fiction books craze. The shelf that I had all of my adult fiction was only one, and now it probably is going to have to be two now. I've probably filled it with about like another 10 books. I really, really want to get into some adult fiction. The next book, I think, is under the genre of new adult, which is geared for college-level adults, and it has been on a lot of people's hauls, and a lot of people have read it, so I was like, I'll see what the hype is about, and that is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. All I know about this book is that it's a romance. That's all I know. Don't know anything about it. Other than it's a romance, and almost every booktuber I've watched has read this book and has said it's wonderful. So this is definitely on my April TBR and will definitely be read this month. The last one I picked up, I'm not too sure if I will get to this one or if I will pick up a different adult fiction one, but this one has just been on my mind for the last, like, week or so. It's not that anybody's really talked about it or, or anything. I just, you know decided to get it because I figured why not. I just wanted a book by this author. It didn't really matter which one, but this particular one when I read the back of it sounded like the most interesting. I think it's this author's most popular novel. Um, however, he did just come out with a new one that is pretty popular too. But anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting and tell you what it is. The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. So yeah, this one sounded really interesting. Uh, it's supposed to be funny, and I just can't wait to read this book. Um, I, I do want to pick up more by this author, so I'm hoping, hoping this is really good. That is all, you guys, for my April TBR. Of course, I'll be reading more books, possibly some, some different ones from the ones I showed you, because I'm still trying to read between 9 and 10 books a month, and so far this month I've read two, and I'm in the middle of two other books. So hopefully I'll get those done soon. Stay tuned for my book hauls. I'm probably going to have to split them up into two videos because I got a lot of books. And for the most part, you guys are probably like, yay, more books to look at. But I know a certain somebody who is going to really be very disappointed in me. I know. I know. She knows who she is. And... Okay, because I want my books, and yeah, I'm going to keep buying them. Anyways, that was all, you guys. So if you have read any of the books that I plan on reading and have any comments you want to say about them below, let me know if they're good or anything. That way I don't waste my time reading them. If they're not, uh, that would be great. So I will see you guys next time. And as always, keep reading.